quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can spice up your renderings. This is my personal workflow and by all means not the perfect solution, but it should show you what you can do to improve your renderings. I usually use Blender and Affinity, but it should be possible to recreate this workflow with any other software combination. I will show you the different steps of the workflow on this project I did a while back. Before we start the rendering, we need to add some render passes. The main ones I use are Glossy Direct and Glossy Indirect, and as well Ambient Occlusion. This is what the single passes look like. To change the ambient occlusion distance, you will have to go to Render Properties, then on the Light Paths, go to Fast GI Approximation, and there you can change the ambient occlusion distance to your liking. For the final steps, we need to render everything out. I find the fastest way is by using the File Output node in the Compositor. You can add as many image slots as you need. Don't forget to set the file type and directory before you hit render. Since the denoiser does not automatically denoise the single passes, I just hook a denoising node in between. Now let's hit render and move to the image editing software. Now I'm here in Affinity. To keep things tight, I already imported all the rendered images. I even added a plain color for the background. The first step is to add a level adjustment to the main rendering. Here you can see what of a difference it already does. From the render passes, let's start first with the ambient occlusion. Side note here, because in Blender I use Filmic as the color management, I need to bring back the whites value. To do so, I use the level adjustment similar to the previous step. If possible, I do not use the ambient occlusion as it is. I like to tint the black values with a dark color to avoid the image looking dirty. Now I set the layer effect to multiply and adjust the opacity to a value between 10 and 30%. This depends on the brightness of the image. In certain cases, you may not want to add the ambient occlusion to every element of the rendering. To fix that, you can use a mask to erase the elements of being affected. Here I remove the ambient occlusion from the dandelions. The next steps are pretty simple. I set both glossy passes to screen and adjust the opacity to a value between 10 and 30%. This depends on how much reflectivity I want to add back to the rendering. Now let's quickly compare the before and after to see what has changed. You may notice that the colors got more intense and the overall contrast of the image increased. Let me know how you improve your renderings. I hope you learned something and see you next time.